Gotta thank Yahweh for being the chosen seed of Israel. Here's the patient of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Yah. And the faith of my Shiah. Oh, yeah. I gotta thank Yahweh for being the chosen seed of Israel. Here's the patient of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Yah. And the faith of the Mashiach. Shalom, Zion. So I wanted to weigh in on the wake of everything that's going on. Just wanted to throw my little two cents in this thing after observing and examining and just watching every little detail that's happening. It's a no brainer of what's going on and all the chaos that's happening all over the nation to include other nations, other countries like Iran, London, and others who are also weighing in on this thing. Now, this is not your average riot. All right, when you look at all the other riots that happened in the past, the Watts riot, the Rodney King, even the ones prior to that, they, they come nothing close to the one that's happening now. This one is very unique. And now, and this one is not even, I mean, let's just throw George Floyd out of this thing because it's really not about this brother who was purposely killed by the cops. This thing is bigger. Now, I'm not ignoring the fact, but this thing is much bigger. There is something much more behind the scenes, Zion, than we actually realize, all right? And let me make one thing clear. All these heathens who are out there claiming to be protesting along with our people, do not be fooled, Zion. They are not there for you. Now, you may think they are because they're out getting hit up by the cops, what have you. They're out destroying things, rioting, along with our people that are out there, with the few of our people that are out there. But don't be fooled. These people are not for you. Now, let me remind you of something. Matthew 24 and verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So let's get the obvious out the way. Even though they're out there with us along with our people, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. They are still your damn enemies. And let's get another obvious out the way. We know that they have been killing us for the longest. Ever since we came over on these boats, they've been killing us, implanting diseases in us, purposely killing us to try to get rid of us because they know that we are the people. Now, your masses may not know it, but I guarantee you that the world leaders, your elites, your Illuminatis, they know the deal. Hollywood, they know the deal. And it's very obvious that our people are fed up. They are tired, sick of tired of being tired. And that's what this thing has blown over unto. All right. It's just that the other nations are using this incident to their advantage. And I'm going to tell you what I think about that here in a few. But again, the obvious is they've been trying to kill us. We're well, not trying. They have been. Let me correct myself on that. They have been killing us for the longest. Now, some of you may be saying or thinking, look, brother, burning down buildings is not the answer. Tearing up stores is not the answer. Tearing up your community is not the answer. Being destructive is not the answer. Well, I look at it this way. When has peaceful protests ever been effective? It wasn't effective for Martin Luther King. It wasn't effective for nobody else. Integration didn't stop them from killing us. As a matter of fact, 
70 years later, we're way worse off prior to integration. At least prior to integration, we had our own businesses. We had our own restaurants. We were able to we were able to go to our people for food, for clothes and medical and what have you. We don't have that now. So go figure, you know, what happened? You know, like, what's up? You know, that's that's the deal, y'all. But, but here we are. It is what it is. And now we have completely nothing. So here's my point, Zion. When I look at things, I don't look at things from a human perspective. I look at things from a celestial perspective. Now, you may say, well, what do you mean by that? Are you in favor of people burning down buildings? Are you in favor of people destroying their communities and, and what have you? Now, if the Most High wanted to, he could stop this. Now, some of you probably already know where I'm about to go with this. Because, see, the Most High, you got to understand something about the Most High. He does not think like us. And we do not think like the Most High. All right? But the Most High will allow things to happen to fulfill prophecy. So, in other words, Zion, there is nothing you can do to stop this. People are going to riot. People are going to destroy. Yes, it's because they're tired and they, they've, they've come to their last point. They're just, they're to the point where they just, they have nothing else they can do. So this is the way people react. And when you oppress a people for so long, how do you expect them to react? When you strip everything from them, you take away the men, you degrade the women, you degrade the children and you degrade everything about us, how do you expect our people to act? Especially when you keep killing us and we don't have the power to fight back. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute. But now we know the short answer. We know the quick answer to this. We all know that we're in this situation because we disobey the Most High. We have to constantly well because of the sins of our forefathers and we are getting hit for it because of our forefathers. So yes, we we are aware of that, but many of our people are not, and that's why they continue to, to do wickedness, all right? And so that's one thing we really gotta understand. But the cries of our people are, and has reached unto heaven. And I truly believe the Most High is hearing the prayers and the cries of our people because many of our people are turning from their ways and getting back to the laws, commandments, and statutes. And that's what it's going to take. Now, let's talk about this power thing. Now, they kill us because we do not have the power to fight back. You know, we don't have a military. We don't have representative. We don't have a political structure. We don't have the type of setup like we had when King David was in power because when King David was in power, the most high was with him and we had an army second to none. I mean, a force to be reckoned with and no other nations. If any other nations came against us, they were annihilated. Y'all hear me? They were annihilated, but we don't have that Zion because we have been destroyed, scattered and abused. So we are that weakest link. And this is why chaos is happening all over the world. And I'm not just talking about these riots, but I'm talking about everything that's happening, Zion, is because of us. It is because of us, a people is rising. And as we're starting to rise and get back to the ways of the Most High, you're going to see more and more destruction such as these. And with these riots, this is not your average riot. I'm telling you right now, this is not your average type of protest. Of what's going on and this thing is not going away no time soon now as you know agent orange who comes from a line of clans but nobody wants to acknowledge that tweeted something a couple of days ago calling the looters thugs and what have you and then he goes on to say he takes a quote that was used back in the that used for the civil rights movements when the Policemen were sicking dogs on our people and killing our people. Then he says, when the, sh when the looting starts, the shooting starts. 
But see, we know who the real thugs are. Who are the ones who invade other countries? Who was the one who invaded seven countries in the Middle East just for their personal gain so they can set up their world banks? Who was it that enslaved many of our people? Who was it that bombed innocent people all over the world? Well, you already know the answer to that. Those are your real thugs. So, and Trump has always had a problem with our people anyway. So, I mean, that's not hard to figure out who he was referring to in this. And when you look at all the riots that are happening right now, it's these white liberals who have ignited this whole thing. You got, you got heathens from different states that don't even belong to Minneapolis or anywhere where the riots are happening at, and they're just showing up like popcorn. But yet our people are the main focus. I wonder why that is. I find that very interesting how you can have majority of heathens out there that are stealing, looting, and breaking up stuff, setting fires to stuff. But yet, so-called blacks are the primary focus in this whole thing. I'm telling you, Zai, this is, this is some exciting stuff. And I'm not praising for the fact that our people are out there getting their heads bashed in, but I'm just saying, the attention is on us. Makes you really think. See, the Most High is setting up something. He is setting up his people, whether we realize it or not. And yeah, he's using the heathens as well, too. He's using the heathens for his purpose, not for the fact that they're with us or they love us or care about us. But even the devil has a purpose. Even Satan himself has a purpose until they're all ready to be thrown into the lake of fire. So you get what I'm saying, Zion? So get ready because the Most High is the ultimate puppet master. See, these world elites think they're controlling this narrative. They think they're the ones that are moving the pieces together, which the Most High is allowing them to do that. But what we gotta realize is that the Most High is the ultimate puppet master. He's the one that's calling the shot. Nothing happens unless the Most High allows it to. So, for those of you who are saying looting, stealing, and burning up buildings, and all this riot is not the answer, well, guess what? It's the Most High who is allowing it to happen. All right? See, and that's the big picture you gotta look at. All of this is happening to fulfill prophecy. All of this is happening to allow these world leaders to bring in this new world order. Because that's exactly what's going to happen, Zion. We cannot, this is this is inevitable. It's going to happen. Because it's prophecy. It's fulfilling right before our very eyes. That's why I always say, put your seatbelt on and get ready for one hell of a ride. Because this is just, we're just now scratching the surface. It's getting ready to get real. Now let's get back to how our people are being blamed for this. Because Again, I find it funny how the majority of the people that are out there rioting, looting, stealing, and setting stuff on fire are the heathens. I mean, that is something, but yet we are the main focus. We are the limelight. We are the big thumb that stands out like no other. Well, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 4 and 27 because I'm going to prove to you that we are just a small group that's out there. The majority of the folks that are doing this stuff are the heathens. And that's why I'm telling you this, this whole narrative, this thing is off the chain. Deuteronomy 4, 27, and it says, And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. Now, if we're few in number amongst the heathens, how is it that we're the main ones that are doing all this stuff. How come we are the main focus point? Why is all the attention on us? Well, I'm gonna tell you Zion, because we are the people and the majority of the world knows it. They know it, but they're too afraid to admit it. Many people will not admit that Zion, that we are the people, they know that the true Israelites are not the ones that are claiming to be 
Jews over in Jerusalem, but indeed are the Negroes, the ones who are being so heavily discriminated against, the ones that are constantly being killed in the streets in all kinds of manner. Those are the true Israelites. And they know this. And that's why everything is focused on us because they're trying to destroy us. They're trying to destroy our name. But they won't be able to do it because the Most High has intervened. And it's getting so bad out there. Did y'all hear that they almost got to the White House? Did y'all also hear it was on the news? They had to, Trump had to flee into the underground bunker along with his staff for a couple of hours. And that's what the news put out. Now, whether you say that was fake or real, whatever, that's what was put out. So you know it's bad, now you know it's getting bad when the president has to flee to his underground bunker. I mean, this thing is getting crazy. And now Iran is getting on in it because Iran already doesn't like the president. Iran doesn't like America anyway. Uh, even Iran and all those other Middle Eastern countries, they know that the blacks have been treated so badly. They know that they've been enslaved, been killed, and they know what's been going on for many, many years. It's no secret, Zion. And I don't care how much these heathens try to stand up with our people, they are still our enemies. They are still going to have to answer for the sins of their forefathers. That's just the way it's going to be. And that's the way it is. And that's the way the scripture says it's going to be. There isn't enough guilt or apologies or shame that can wipe away the crimes that was committed against our people for thousands of years. Just got to step aside and get that work. Just get ready to get that work because it's, it's going to happen. It is what it is. We had to suffer for the sins of our forefathers. Guess what? Our enemies are going to suffer for the sins of their forefathers. It's physics. Something has to cancel out. Something has to be that scapegoat. And and boy, I tell you, it, it's, it's happening. And this is this is just the beginning of the end. And I'm always telling you that we haven't seen nothing yet. You know, this is just the beginning, Zion. And some of you are probably saying, wow, I can't get no worse than this. Oh, yes, it can. It's going to get a whole lot worse than this. So just, just get ready. We're never going back to a new normal. So much for the COVID-19, huh? So much for social distancing. You know, and they're probably going to use this incident to phase out the COVID-19 because they knew they can't, they couldn't continue to lie to the people, so they have nothing to stand on. So let's just phase this COVID thing out. Let's just use the riots and everything. So by the time the riots are over, we can say that the COVID is no longer a threat anymore. Go figure, Zion. Come on. Who do you think they're fooling? So overall, Zion, here's the deal. Everything that you see that's happening is because the Most High is allowing it to happen to fulfill prophecy. And the Most High is getting ready to tear these nations down. He's getting ready to shred them like we've never seen before. And they're starting to fall from the inside. Just look at America. Look how, I mean, ever since Agent Orange became president, this country, the US, the US of A, has been literally turned upside down. And everybody know it, but his supporters don't want to admit it though. But this country has been turned upside down, literally. And I'm going to read you one of my favorite verses because, see, any of our brothers thinking, sisters thinking that we can build a nation in this kingdom, you can forget about it. This nation's going to have to fall, Zion. Before our people can rise up, or I was to say, I should say, before our people rise up and before the Most High announces us before the heathens, this nation is going to fall. When I say this nation, I'm talking about all the nations, not just the United States, but I'm talking about all the world nations. Let's go to Mark 3 and 27. It says, No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, 
and then he will spoil his house. So in other words, Zion, you cannot build a kingdom in the heathen's kingdom. Now you can start your little business. You can start something little here and there. And, you know, and even with that, you're still limited. You, you are, they are telling you how much money you can make and what you can't and cannot do. So what good is that? So in order for us to truly be a people, this nation, these kingdoms will fall. And the Mashiach is going to be that strong man who is going to bind up these nations and all the spoils. Guess what, Zion, are going to go to us. The land, the earth, everything, even the people are going to be are going to be ours. They're going to belong to us. So you get where I'm going with this thing. Because many of our people, it's the same thing, you know. Our people are going to continue to be killed. Our people are going to continue to be discriminated against. And that's why we have to step back and let this thing happen. Let it all burn down. Let it, let it be destroyed. Don't get in the way of trying to stop this Zion or you will be destroyed. Because you can't stop this. This is inevitable. What's going to happen is going to happen. And you got a bunch of coons out there. Oh, please stop. Go home. We shouldn't be doing this. This is, this is evil. All right. You stay out there want to. You're going to be destroyed along with them. So Zion, step back. Let the Most High send his angels of death and let them continue to tear this place apart like we've never seen before. And when these nations fall by the hand of the Most High, because guess what? They are going to fall by the hand of the Most High. And trust me, what we're seeing right now, these are not the plagues of the Most High, Zion. This this is the work of man, but the Most High is allowing it to go on. But when the Most High throws down, oh, you better believe it. He's going to get the credit for it because ain't nobody going to be able to snatch no credit from that. The Most High is going to roll that ferment away just a little bit so you can see his black face and then roll it back again. And everybody going everybody gonna to just lose their damn minds. And that's when the hell is going to break loose. And you're going to know that the judgment of the Most High is truly fallen. So until then, Zion, stay strong. Keep those swords sharpened. Stay in the word, keep the commandments, and live. I say shalom and stay strong. Here's the passion of the saints. Here I they to keep the commandments of the Yah and the faith of the Mashiach. To encourage you, brothers and sisters, trying to paint to you a better picture. Everything I say, I back it up with the scriptures to get you out the matrix. It's been over 400 years of life. You gotta open up your eyes. Cause there's so many reasons we in captivity. You gotta flee from the heathen. There is hope in our future, even though they're trying to do a scene. But we live to fight another day. Vengeance is to Yah, we'll be praying for Yahweh. I gotta day. thank Yahweh for being the chosen seed of Israel. He's trying, yeah. Here's the patient of the saints. Whoa. Here are they to keep the commandments of the Yah. Commandments of Yah. And the faith of Mashiach. Oh. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. I gotta thank Yahweh for being the chosen seed of Israel. Israel. Here's the passion of the saints. Here are they to keep the commandments of the Yah and the faith of the Mashiach. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do